Welcome, welcome. It is Amora from morewithamora.com here for your love reading. If you can, please take a couple minutes to get situated. I'll talk you through a quick grounding meditation. And then we'll get right into your reading. So body at 90 degree angles. Spine straight. Hips in alignment with the knees. Knees in alignment with your ankles. Shoulders balanced. Head faced forward. Supported by the chair and the earth beneath you. So breathe in deeply, in through your nose, and then exhale with a verbal ha. Do this a couple more times, next time actually holding your breath for five seconds before you exhale with the ha. Starting with the Romance Angels, we will just begin with a very simple question of asking spirit, asking um, the all, the information that is neither past or future for all things are present. So asking for a foundational card as it pertains to this uh, connection that you have. Oh, okay, so I use the word connection and chemistry, calling in your soulmate are the, uh, the cards that you received. So chemistry, there's a strong magnetic connection here. Uh, there might be a age difference, there might not be, but it looks like this gentleman is teaching something, um, showing, showing you new feelings, showing you new emotions, showing you new things, not necessarily like things around the city or, I mean, maybe it could be that as well, but this is more of an energetic and a spiritual connection. All right. Um, maybe you are, are wanting him to be more vocal. But that might not be who he is. He might just wear his work as, as he walks on this earth, okay? But there is a chemistry there. There is a chemistry there. So, next card being calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So, yes, there's chemistry here, but this doesn't necessarily say that he is your soulmate. It just says that the work that you're doing is exactly on point to be calling in your soulmate. So, whatever it is that you are doing outside of this man, whether he is uh, a part of your long-term process or not, you are doing the right works to call in your soulmate. And sometimes these relationships that we do experience are stepping stones or training, you know, that we need before we can even energetically handle the soulmate that we truly are uh, destined to experience, okay? So next, let's, let's move on to the energy of the relationship right now. Let's just get a story, Asking Spirit, for a quick story uh, for us to tap into regarding this relationship or this budding relationship, this uh, situationship, whatever you'd like to call it. So calling on the highest frequencies uh, that see all and giving us a report of just what's happening in the energetic space now. All right, we got a few cards here. Starting off with mental conflict, choose wisely, crown chakra, 
and sacrifice. All right, so starting with the mental conflict, there seems to be a decision that needs to be made. There are some things that uh, are causing confusion between the two of you or for the two of you or for you individually about the two of you. Um, so the fact that, you know, you're asking for a reading, there is a confusion on the other side as well. So he too feels maybe, um, blindfolded, like he doesn't have all the, all the answers. He doesn't have all of the information that he needs to be able to make a decision about what this even is. The second card was choose wisely. So emotionally, you're both in a space where you know that you could either jump off the deep end or you could save yourself the heartache and kind of like take it slow, chill out, not really move too forward um, because that's where it's safe. And it's more about choosing wisely than it is about... I want a relationship or this person isn't for me. It's more about... I need to know what is best for me in the long term. And so seven is a number of completion. Uh, and so you will be shown what needs to be completed in order for you to have a more solid foundation and know exactly what's happening. Next was crown chakra another seven card. So definitely work on calling in your divine self both the divine feminine and the divine masculine that reside within you and that want to emanate and emerge through you, tapping into those frequencies, clearing out yourself so that you can contain more of those frequencies and keeping your crown chakra clear. Because you see, that's what this is. You see there's like branches and it reminds me of like doing some spring cleaning, doing some uh, uh, organization, putting things in proper order not being double minded sorry about that I got some powder or maybe it's just ash my bad <laughs> not being double minded about the the things that are coming up whether it's what you want to eat or what clothes to purchase what to wear on a certain day um whether you want to go to the six flags or the disney world you know it could be whatever but not being double-minded because you've cleared out your crown chakra in such a magnificent way that you are in alignment and you know like this is where i'm going but it will take sacrifice to get there you're gonna have to sacrifice something compromise sacrifice um, this is more about creating a rift in the energy that you're already carrying so that you can actually transcend and reach a new level. Like if you just keep going now, you're on a flat path in this, in this space, um, in your love space. So it's not necessarily with this per specific person, but in your love space, you're like on a flat line journey going just it's the same monotony it's just going it's going what you need is a shake up to create a like a ramp or like a break off or a, a, a new path kind of like if you were to see a straight line and then there's an earthquake and now part of it has elevated and you can jump up kind of I'm thinking of like Super Mario Brothers so it's something you can either sacrifice you can either go on a vacation you can do some uh, some offerings to some water Something having to do with elevating your frequency, elevating your energy. That is what you need in this moment to get more clarity in your love space. So that you're on the next level of calling in your soulmate. Verse, you've hit, you know, you don't want to hit a plateau. You don't want this to be a plateau. Okay? So good job. Because uh, you're, even this message is a healing session for you. Assisting you in hitting that new plateau. But of course, you want to keep going. You want to keep elevating. So if it's not this guy, if he doesn't step up, guaranteed he's just not it at this moment at least. So let's look into, these are goddess, um, feminine, divine, feminine energies. So let's look into this goddess energy. And let's see with this specific relationship, what is the best outcome? And what is the best action to take? Two questions. 
what is the best outcome spirit and what is the highest possible action to be taken for the highest good of all involved and for love and life to abound so we're going to put this one and two. We're going to flip that over. Ooh, we have faith, inspiration, and faith. Inspiration and faith. What is the best possible outcome? You guys inspire each other to do better. That you guys inspire each other to transcend what it is that you've settled for so far. So get clear or clearer. You may not get crystal clear in this moment, but get clearer about what it is that you need in a mate. If this person is not fulfilling the needs, it's okay to have needs in a relationship. Sometimes people make us feel bad about wanting uh, more time or wanting to hang out or wanting more uh, wanting them to speak more and tell us more of their emotions. And if you need that, you don't have to pull it out of someone. You don't have to beg them to tell you how they feel. It will come. It will come naturally because they are inspired to express that to you. So see where you are inspiring him and see where he is inspiring you. If you are inspiring him in places that are helping him like shift his career and do all this other stuff and he is, what is being inspired in you? If it's just triggers being inspired, feelings of unworthiness, feelings of confusion, then the balance is off. It's imbalanced. Because you want to be inspired in a way that you are inspiring others. Okay? Now, what's the best thing you can do? Faith. Faith and fight. Fight for what you believe and believe what it is that you uh, truly desire is possible. Faith. And you see, she's a warrior. She got swords upon swords, but she carries her protection. She knows that she got this. She gonna win in the end, regardless of whether somebody steps on her toes. Okay? So, one last card. Getting crystal clear again about what it is that we wish uh, to experience in our life of love. If you want to, again, remember even this guy over here. Remember I said... He might not be the type to speak up. So if you want a man that speaks up and tells you verbally how he feels about you, this might not be the guy. Now, if he, after, you know, he's doing work and you're doing work, then all of a sudden things change, things shift, and all of a sudden he's forthcoming and open with how he feels about you, then that's a different story. So either shifting healing needs to be done on both parts because you need to obviously do yours and he must also do his before there is a balancing act that will be able to occur. Chemistry can either become a chemistry experiment gone horribly wrong that blows up an entire laboratory. Meth is... An exper is a chemi chem chemical, rea uh, chemical reaction, a chemical substance. You use chemistry to create meth that is deadly, that it makes you ugly, it makes you painful, like it makes you crazy. That's chemistry too. Or you can create chemistry that, uh, you know, boosts herbs and the way herbs work in the body and you're creating um, concoctions of energetic fortitude and things like that. So yes, there is a strong magnetic attraction here, but we are attracted to what it is, the same energy that complements the, ener the energy we are emitting. 
So as you elevate your vibration, you will attract a higher frequency. So yes, you need to do your work first. And if he does his work too, he might change into a guy that is more forthcoming with what he's speaking or what he's feeling. But in the moment, you just need to be focusing in on doing your work, your prayers, your affirmations, and your visualizations to help bring you and your divine bay together. If he is your divine bay, you will elevate his frequency through doing your work. If he is not your divine bay, you will be elevating the frequency of your divine bay through your work, therefore quickening the process or assisting the process of you guys actually meeting up in this physical realm. So watch your dreams, watch your spiritual uh, connections, don't get tripped up, don't get fooled, work on your intuition. And so asking for one more card to wrap up uh, a message for the Divine Feminine in love, life, spirit, and truth right now. Ooh, that's it. Plenty. Pomona and Plenty. You have more than enough. You are more than enough. You have everything that you need to complete any karmic cycles that are holding you back, any generational curses that have you in a tizzy or have your family running around in circles. You are of abundance and plentitude. When you embody that, the man that matches that shows himself to you. Work in your abundance, stand in your magic, and keep it moving, okay? Besitos. Uh, if you resonate with this reading, of course, let me know. If you do not resonate with this reading, still, let me know. And I can guarantee you there will be something that happens uh, in the future uh, that either brings you back to this reading or helps you get through um, this reading helps you get through something that happens in the future. So uh, leave a message at more with a more, uh, no, facebook.com slash more with a more. If you could leave a recommendation of how this reading affected you, that would be fabulous. Thank you again for trusting me with your love energy. Drink lots and lots of water over the coming days. Lots and lots of water over the coming days. Be aware of your surroundings. Do not allow yourself to be in toxic situations. Become the magician of your life. Okay? Uh, shift from allowing someone to show you your magic to you knowing and standing in your magic. All right? Besos, besos. And take care of yourself. Talk to you soon.